Welcome to another edition of Frankly Dream Bay, brought to you by Let Me Be Frank Productions. Get your laugh on with Frank. I've been wanting to get this guy on for a long time. He travels the world, so it's hard to get him in. He's a barber, a former pro wrestler, and his band is called Death Wish. Ladies and gentlemen, straight edge, Eric Hammers. Good Look at those rings. Here, huh? I just love that. <laughs> And let's talk about those rings first, because you are sponsored by a lot. And if you don't know who Eric is, he's a pro wrestler, was a pro wrestler, and has a great band, Death Witch, travels the world playing, uh, would you call it death metal or heavy metal? What would you call it? Uh, it's whatever you want to hear it. I whatever, don't know. Because, like, I mean, we're, in, we're inspired by, like, Motorhead, but, like, yeah. next thing you know, we're being compared to some metal band. And it is, it's kind of what they hear. And let's <laughs> talk about the rings now. Who's the sponsor? Uh, Salvador Social. Yes. Look at those guys. These two rings yeah. are from his company. Uh, the, I'm, we're also, uh, they also endorse uh, Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. Oh, sweet! And I just got these a couple days ago. High grade, silver, like the real deal. And, where do, and, and they, they can order them online? Can they go to your website and find this, or where do they go? Yeah, they can go, they can go to ericcameras.com, and yep. I got it as one of my endorsements, and you can click right on it and go right to their site. Let's talk about pro wrestling, ACW. I saw some okay, footage. Yep. You're like a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> You're flying everywhere. Um, it was high flying. Yeah. It was like, well, for the time period, because you got to remember it was like 20 years ago. Yeah. And then, I mean, I got into it. I wanted, like, my finisher to basically be something, like, to take a person out. So it was a 316 spinning DDT. Yes. And it was like, me and a couple of people made it up. Obviously, it was inspired by Jake the Sake Roberts. Yeah. And then it just went from there. So you're into, you're into skateboarding, you're into wrestling. Why music? What happened with music? Well, music was kind of. Of, like, I don't know, it was around the same time. Also, like, skateboarding and punk rock were the same thing when I was a kid. And, like, there was, like, no difference. Like, if you saw a skateboard kid in the mid-'80s and you skated over to him, do you like Black Flag, do you like the Dead Kennedys, yeah. what band, do you like Suicidal Tendencies? And you would have a bond on this. And most of society was not really considered in a sport at the time. What would you describe your, your vocal style? Uh, I, I'm... Incapable of singing, so I yell. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool, dude. I just give it all and yell. Man, <laughs> like, you're, you're a wild man. Out. And you do it every night. Yeah. And we, the reason why is you are a clean liver. Yeah, aren't you? I'm straight edge. So yeah. I don't drink, smoke, or do drugs. I haven't actually done anything since the late 80s. So, but unlike the 90s straight edgers who got all pissed off at anybody else that did do stuff, yeah. I don't mind if you do whatever you want to do that makes you happy as long as you're not hurting other people. I that is cool. You know, Tom Smith had a great quote, quote about you. Tom Smith writes for us at Frankly Green Bay. He's a force in the rock and roll history of Green Bay and the early punk movement. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's very nice. That's Tom funny. is a pretty cool guy. Tom's a great guy. I tell you what, Eric, what a dynamic individual, a wrestler, a bass player, and he's a barber. Cuts hair. What a, what a fantastic talent. Do you get the same haircut that he's got, which is like the number one or something? No, I don't do that one. <laughs> uh, that's right. We'll be, go see him down on Broadway. Hey, let's get to my picks of the week. Number three, let me be frank, sponsoring the show, waiting for Mr. Howard at the Green Bay Community Theater. It's a great show. Great reviews Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Number two, Dr. Seuss is the Grinch. With uh, They got three shows, not two, I think. Saturday, they got an uh, evening and two on Sunday. Get out there and see uh, at the Widener Center. Number one, the Green Bay Holiday Parade. How could you miss it? It's, it's an annual tradition. And Amy and I sing before the, 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 the parade every year in front of the courthouse from 9.30 to 10. Great parade. It's so much fun. We love Christmas it. Christmas songs? Chris, all Christmas songs. Yes. Elvis and Reba. Oh. That's right. <laughs> FranklyGreenBay.com. Thanks, Frank. Thank you.